Hi guys, I'm Chef Scott from HEB, and today we're gonna to do a new twist on a Thanksgiving classic, brick grilled turkey. Not only does this help you get outside away from the heat of the kitchen, but it also helps free up your oven. Things you'll need, two bricks wrapped in HEB Texas Tough aluminum foil, heat proof barbecue gloves, some kitchen shears or a knife, a cutting board, a meat thermometer, a 10 to 12 pound HEB fresh turkey, salt and black pepper, and of course, a little olive oil. Okay, so now we have our tools, let's turn our attention to the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat our grill to about 350 or about medium high. Now that's lit. Now I'm only gonna light one side on purpose. I'll explain why this side is cool in a second. We've got our bricks right here. Again, these are wrapped in the HEB Texas Tough Aluminum Foil. We're gonna put these right in the center of the hot part of our lit side of the grill. We're gonna close that, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and we are gonna turn our attention to our bird. If you're gonna have a frozen turkey, you wanna make sure that it is fully thawed before you start this whole process. Otherwise, it may take a little longer to cook and it'll be hard to get through that backbone. All we're gonna do with butterfly turkey is basically we're gonna take out this backbone right here. So I'm gonna draw little lines. We're just gonna cut right through this. You can do this with kitchen shears or if you've got a nice sharp knife. You just wanna start, don't cut your fingers. Straight down, do you hear all that cracking? That's all the ribs you're trying to cut through. When you get down to the bottom, you can kinda of hook your hand in there and just with the heel of your knife, press all the way through. Same exact thing on the next side. And then with the heel of the knife, just finish cutting that like so. Again, you are cutting out the ribs. So now this right here, the spine, delicious in stocks and soups. So now we've got our birds. So the backbone gone. All I'm gonna do is, with my hands, is kind of flatten this guy out a little bit here. You can hear all the popping, everything, what kind of joints will break, the ribs will break. We're gonna flip it over, basically ready to go. But in order on the grill for it to cook nicely, I'm gonna cut this little part and that's that, and then this guy. So once we cut off our tips to our wings, we've got our flattened bird. Now I'm just gonna give it one more press. I'm gonna take this hand over my other hand, right on top, and just kind of push it down. There you go, that's what you're looking for. A little break in that little sternum or the front of the breastbone here, just to make it lie a little flatter. This way, when we season it and we go to grill it, everything's gonna cook nice and evenly. We're gonna take a liberal amount of salt and pepper. This is probably gonna end up being almost a quarter cup, which is about five tablespoons of actual seasoning. And again, the more we move our bird, the more this is gonna fall off. So we really wanna make sure it's nice and coated. Looks beautifully peppered. Now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do this side. So again, we are gonna go liberal amount of salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna only put olive oil on one side of the bird. That's gonna be the skin side because that's the side we're gonna start with on the grill. Just a little bit of olive oil and then just kind of massage and press down with your hands. We wanna make sure that our bird doesn't stick to the grill. We're gonna open up our grill, it's already been preheated. Now our bricks have been heating up this entire time. We're gonna slide our bricks over. Now I'm gonna give a little bit of oil to our grill. You can use the HEB cooking spray or you can just have a damp towel. All we're doing is just trying to grab a little extra lubrication from this. Now if it flares up like that, don't be nervous. That's just the fat catching. If you move quickly, nothing to worry about. We're gonna take our turkey. Again, breast side down, right on the hot side of the grill, just like that. We're gonna take our bricks, again, nice and hot, right on top of the turkey. It also provides weight that's gonna help weigh down the turkey on the grill, and it's also gonna provide heat that's gonna help cook the top of the turkey while the bottom is getting nice and crispy. We're gonna seal this and let it cook for 10 minutes. All right, so 10 minutes is up on the first side. We're gonna flip our turkey over to the second side. We've got our heat proof glove on. We're gonna remove our bricks to the non hot side. You can flip this however you want. I find tongs work the best. The meat is gonna start to really tighten up and we don't wanna hurt anything. Wow, beautiful, look at that. Nice caramelization, just what we're looking for. Place the bricks back on top. Another 10 minutes with the lid down and then I'll explain how we're gonna finish it out. The second 10 minutes is up on the second side of our turkey. So now we're gonna remove the bricks. So here's how that looks. We're gonna take the bricks off because we are done with these and I'm just gonna slide this turkey. Again, be careful because we're getting more and more cooked as we go here, so you wanna be gentle. And we're gonna put it right on that side. So right now, our grill is gonna act like an oven because we've got the hot side and the indirect. We're gonna turn this down to low and we're gonna close our grill and it should be baking at about 350 to 400 degrees for 11 to 14 minutes per pound. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. With the meat thermometer, I'm gonna take the temp just to make sure all right, so insert it into the deepest part of the breast here. So we're exactly 165, which is absolutely perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna take our bird off the grill. Now you wanna be real careful here, right on the cutting board. We're gonna again season it real quickly because we did lose some seasoning during the cooking process. That is it. All we're gonna do now, little uh, Texas Tough HEB foil to tent. Let this rest for 20 minutes because we really want to make sure those juices redistribute throughout the meat before we cut it. There it is. Beautiful brick grilled turkey. 
For tips on how to carve a turkey, go to hev.com slash cooking. Bon appetit.